Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. Welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards and see what's in store with a message from Spirit. This week I'm using the holographic tarot. It's kind of fun. Felt drawn to tarot this week. Ah, let's see where we go today. All right, Spirit. What do we have in store today? Today has a there's a unique energy to today, and I want to say um, there's kind of like a calm anticipation-like energy, for me anyway, and, and it's not connected to anything specific. Hmm. Let's see what Spirit has to say. Hold on. One more shuffle here. Yeah, interesting. This is kind of following on the message from yesterday. Spirit is showing me like a cross, not a religious cross, but like um, almost like northeast, southwest kind of thing, like a plus symbol. And they're saying they're restoring balance. There's a lot of balance being restored and I see it slightly tilted and they're bringing it back into center. So that's almost that kind of calm anticipation. We know it's coming but it's bringing back again balance like we saw yesterday with the justice card like that was a huge thing so it's really going to carry through this week this returning to balance from those adjustments so let's see what the cards have to say about all that oh well is that not amazing holy moly i love this Okay, I just want to throw all of these at you at the same time because they're so beautiful, but we're going to we're going to do this in pieces. So, very first card out is the Sun card, the best card in the deck. The Sun card says, "Yes, that's it." The Sun card brings light to situations, brings clarity. The Sun card says, "Let me illuminate this balance, these adjustments. Let me illuminate your path because your path is changing now." And the reason why I say that too is restoring this to balance. Like, like I talked about yesterday, again, if you missed yesterday's message, it is so important you listen to it before this one. Because yesterday, I think I also talked about like all the adjustments that were happening were bringing us to this new point to help solidify this timeline. The next card out is the 10 of wands. This is the end of carrying a burden. So writing this this balance of that symbolism spirit showed me is allowing you to put down a burden, one that you've carried for a long time. And this is because spirit has been helping you based on your intentions and manifestations, your communication with them of what you need. And so these micro adjustments or for some people, it might be big adjustments, but these adjustments that are happening are helping to end that phase of your journey. So you can put down all of these wands because it is supported by the light. Again, the sun card is something that always amplifies whatever cards are around it and it amplifies it with light, with goodness, with positivity, with support. Again, the best card in the deck. So what a strong, <clears throat> excuse me, strong, strong start here. And this is beautiful. Like this, this is where each and every one of you can take a big breath and release it because things are working in your favor. Now, I also wanna say this kind of, how things were a little bit off balance, but they're coming into balance. Again, echoing the energy of yesterday's justice card. We have, first of all, I wanna talk about the numerology, two fours, four of wands, four of cups. Fours talk about balance. Think of four legs of a table. That is sturdy, that is balanced, that is a good solid foundation for you to grow from. Now. What Spirit is saying here is what's really important in welcoming in these adjustments and helping to bring these last little bits into balance is choose, Spirit's saying choose your own adventure. And what they're meaning is choose which way you want to look at things. Now, the Four of Wands represents celebration, represents a coming together, a recognition of accomplishment. You can see these two people in here are celebrating. This can mean marriage. So for some people, it could be a union, but it's, opposites that come together to celebrate it's two parts or more that come together in a new creation they have they're moving under this wreath here that you see 
they're moving under it. And I know it's not a full wreath, but like, I guess we could call it a garland. But to me, this really reminds me of the energy of the world card. And it's like they've completed one phase, that ten of, ten of wands, and now they're moving through into the next in union, in harmony for the next phase. So you can look at it that way. Or you may find sometimes you slip into looking at it this way. In the Four of Cups, this person has a choice to either focus on the cup of bounty or focus on the cups of loss. The Four of Cups, this person's kind of bored. They're, they're tired of this journey. They've had enough of it. They don't want anything to do with it anymore. And if they're not careful, they can find themselves in a lack mentality, in a victim mentality, in a complacent energy or a desire to give up and spirit is saying don't give up because this is what's waiting for you celebration union completion stability with two fours four four here this is fantastic and so when we see that and it is accompanied by a ten of wands with the the sun out first and foremost the sun is saying to all of these cards look Universe is helping you. The light is winning. The light is working in your favor, as is your own inner light. Your own inner light is drawing forward the things that help you in your journey. So this is, this is beautiful. This is so positive. This is loving. This is supportive from the universe. This is where we could really say the universe has your back. And it's bringing things forward for you to feel that, to see it, to understand it. So I'm also hearing them say, let us surprise you this week. So let the universe surprise you. Let your guides surprise you. But then take note when it does happen. Like if I was using the Avalon to Aurora, um, sorry, Awakening Avalon deck, I would, the card that I'm seeing is the notice what you notice card. And that's really what the universe is asking and your guides are asking is pay attention to what's unfolding. We are surprising you with beautiful adjustments, but take note of them because when you take note of them, you reinforce them into your reality. Don't pass something off just as a coincidence right away. Because in many cases right now, we're sitting in an energy this month of beautiful synchronicities. The universe bringing in these beautiful alignments, synchronistic meetings. Um, you know, with this timeline shift, some things might just fall right out of your path and that's a blessing. And other things might just suddenly fall into your path. Like you might just get a phone call of something you've been waiting for and it just all of a sudden happens. You had no indication it was coming. You couldn't feel it. You couldn't intuit it. And suddenly it happens. This, these are those beautiful adjustments happening right now. So I will leave this with all of you. What a beautiful reading today. I'm just thrilled. So thrilled by this. So I hope you feel the energy, the encouragement and the support. And uh, thank you all again for your beautiful comments and your kindness. Do check out the podcast. I did the Q&A part two. So lots more questions there. There will be another Q&A next week as well. Uh, so I can get through all of your questions. So thank you again, everyone. And have a beautiful rest of your day.